How's everybody doing? Welcome back to the In Therapy Podcast here with Mr. Reyes and... Resilient. So, we didn't upload on this weekend because... We did record. We did record. But... I didn't connect the microphones. (laughs) So, we did a whole podcast and... We hung out, basically. We hung out. And talked to each other. (laughs) Yikes. (laughs) (laughs) And it sucked because, like, I was getting ready to edit, and I realized that we had no audio anywhere. You know, it's not like I could even get the audio from the cameras because it just sounded so distorted. It was just ugly. (laughs) I I was bummed out. Yeah, it was a it was a good talk. It was. It was. I would like to start this podcast with reading a few comments from the last video. Oh, okay. All right. No gloves, drunk, and use his shirt to wipe. Holy hack hepatitis. <laughs> 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 Another one is I will no longer refer to chicken skin as chicken skin. It will forever be turkey pimples. <laughs> oh, gosh. Please don't. Don't try and make fetch happen. It's not going to happen. <laughs> it's it's definitely going to happen. Turkey, no, turkey, turkey pimples. That's disgusting. Why don't you just say goosebumps? Because. Damn, goosebumps is weird, too. Geese? A goosebumps. You know what I mean? <gasps> wow. That is so <laughs> crazy. I just heard it right now as I said it. Goosebumps. Another one is, what do you guys think of feature ink therapist as your guest, uh, as, uh, as your guest title? Feature ink therapist? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like the guest is the therapist? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Another one is you can call your guest amigo. Amigo. <laughs> Co host or guest host? Co host or guest host. <laughs> so Keep them coming. <laughs> Keep them coming. Keep them coming. <laughs> Great ideas, guys. Great ideas. Uh, so, as promised. I have two videos. We have two. (laughs) Yes. Okay. So last time he said we were going to do two. And then when it recorded, but not recorded, he was just like, no, we're only doing one. I was like, lame. Yeah. But this time we're going to be doing two. See, it was meant to be. It was meant to be. It was meant to be. They're short videos, straight to the point. No explanation, but it is what it is. These are the tattoo nightmares of the week. Estaba muy contento porque fui a tatuarme. Tienes que ver el resultado. Así pedí el diseño de mi tatuaje. Estaba muy feliz por mi resultado. Lloré porque me dolió mucho. Puta madre y estoy muy triste porque se parece a la llorona en tiempo. Shit. What? ¿Por qué se parece a la llorona? Oh my god. Wait, that can't be real. It's real. But that's like <sighs> far off. That's really far off. Puta madre. Pu- pu- muy... Puta madre, estoy muy triste porque se parece a la llorona en tiempos de hambre y frío. I think at this point, he should just get a laser or get a full back piece. Yeah. There is, yeah, because it's going to look weird just having one side covered up and the rest of his back empty i mean i don't I don't see any harsh lines though yeah so this could all be like background right yeah it could be background or it can be or it can become part of the tattoo uh, it can be part of the whatever the design is it can uh-huh. be it, it, it <laughs> <laughs> if anybody knows any updates on this on this uh person here tag me on this one i got tagged a lot I already know what's going to happen. By the look of the whole thing, <laughs> the line's going to come out like cross-sided. I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid to take a stand, take a stand. That's it? <laughs> That's it. That was a tattoo? That's it. <laughs> This guy out here flexing, flexing. He's feeling himself. He feeling the tattoo too. I, at least, at least, he likes it. You can tell he likes his tattoo. You know, because he's, you know. I need to see how the li- how the eyes look. 
damn those eyes you can't just like not look at the eyes yeah the man. eyes are like the main thing because everything else is fixable you know you have to play with the contrast what if you give it gray eyes like an evil his skin complexion it wouldn't let me no Mm-mm. it would just look like uh ashy okay well let's talk about this oh. his skin complexion and cover-ups how Ooh. how does one go about his skin complexion and cover-ups that's because i get that question a lot too on yes. tiktok yes absolutely uh, i see it that's mm-hmm. why i wanted to bring it up mm-hmm. it's something that i feel like people don't say but it's something that should be known mm-hmm. i guess it really all depends on like the skin complexion some uh clients can have way darker skin complexion than others but when it comes down to cover-ups it's almost not possible and the reason why it's almost not possible is because there's times where the skin complexion and the tattoo itself that they're trying to cover up, you can't really see it. So if the tattoo that, that they're trying to cover up I, is barely visible to my eyes, a cover up is not recommended. The black ink that I'm going to be applying is not going to be a difference uh, from what he already has. Okay. So it's just going to look like a blob of ink everywhere. So I got to be able to see what it is. what it is. But if I'm having a hard time seeing the shading of the pre the tattoo they're trying to cover up it's definitely a no and then i also see like you know the the skin could be darker and then also the texture of the skin mm-hmm. could be different you know yes. and we're not just talking like darker skin complexion we're talking on like skin complexion who that has gotten darker over time you know yes. like people who work out in the sun Ooh, yes and get burnt so i had this client about i'll say three four years ago and he was uh he was hispanic and he had been in the united states for the past uh, a year yeah but he had been working in mexico his whole life on the fields so he was uh you know working on on the on the ranch on the ranch (laughs) and then um and el rancho after working so many years on the fields his skin was just rough like rough he was a darker skin complexion his skin was dry mm-hmm. to an extent where if I was to wipe, it would his skin would just look ashy. Wow. The stencil was visible, but not as much as I, w- as I would want to. Yeah. So I had to minimize all my texture and shades to make sure that it stands out. Co- like going back to the cover-up thing with him, with him, at least there's not a lot of shading. Mm-hmm. So it's... It it's can something be s- that can be... Fixed. worked with right yeah because it they basically just gave i mean i don't know if this guy is gonna decide on covering it up because it looks like he really likes it <laughs> only i mean we would only suggest you know having yes. something more like shading done to it to make it look a little bit more realistic mm-hmm. it can be fixed because it doesn't have a lot of shading you can add texture the only problem will be the eyes but i feel like for well, sure i feel like if you like do the if you do the line as a whole and you make it if you really f- work that texture and bring it to life you'll barely notice the eyes maybe true to be honest yeah you're <laughs> yeah, right because it looks so cool from far away that you'll probably barely be able to see that the eyes are yeah. a little lopsided Mm-hmm. Um, and that is a big thing when it comes yeah. down to fixing tattoos or doing cover-ups you gotta take away the attention from what's the ugliest of the tattoo you know of like what went wrong yeah oh, there you go did i say it right yeah <laughs> i mean you just said ugliest <laughs> that sounds harsh <laughs> yeah so Very i was harsh. like what went wrong <laughs> I, I have one more question oh, about yeah. this specifically oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. what are some tips that you could give other artists on how you went about you know uh, not just cover-ups but just regular oh yeah just regular tattoos i think the best tips that i can give to clients too yeah. clients that are looking to get a tattoo and you know you have darker skin complexion and tattoo artists that are going to be tattooing darker skin complexion the best thing to do is to whatever the placement is don't pack in a whole bunch of tiny little detail because you're not going to notice it what you want to do is if somebody's getting an arm tattoo, enlarge the image as much as you can so you can put a lot of contrast and highlights. F- that way, whenever it heals, you're going to be able to tell exactly what it is and it's going to be legible and people are going to be able to know what it is. Okay, so not just focus on the details, but 
make the details bigger bigger mm -hmm. so then that way they'll stand out a little bit better yes mm -hmm. uh, try to avoid packing tiny little detail make those details bigger awesome thank you for that of course thank you for the question i want to close this segment by reading you a few comments from that video <laughs> he, he likes a tattoo he uh -huh. likes it you know you can tell that he likes it i looked into his uh, account and he he doesn't care <laughs> you know he likes it okay cool but so but the comments are, oh, man. are just pure. I want to hear about the comments. Just, Let me see. They're just pure comedy. I'm not uh, like, <laughs> homie, you should have been afraid. <laughs> <laughs> the song. <laughs> I'm not afraid. <laughs> oh, Tiger is looking both ways before crossing the street. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. Bro, why did this remind me of my ex? <laughs> And with that, we're going to close this segment. <laughs> I don't know who's more offended, his ex or the guy <laughs> or the lion. I think the lion, the lion is, is more, more offended. offended. It's like, <laughs> it's like, it's like <laughs> with that one, we'll close yep. this segment and we're going to move on to uh, catching up to the emails we replied to on the podcast that we were supposed to post, but we didn't. So hopefully some of some of them replied. If yeah. they didn't, then we'll choose maybe two two people or one. Sounds good. All right. Let's take a quick little break. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's my stuff. <laughs> All right, so we are back and we are ready to go over the emails that we uh, replied to uh, last week. And hopefully some people booked, but according to your face, <laughs> probably not that people are going to book. <laughs> so out of all the emails, we received one reply. Oh, see. Who is it? Um, it was the one who wanted um, the one of his mom. Oh, the portrait. The That's portrait. right. Okay. Before we start answering these emails, I do want to say that um, if I choose you, I'm going to be giving you 110%. And if you and if you get declined, it just means that I was not connecting with your piece. Maybe the cover was too complicated or it is probably not my style. I did post a little video on TikTok, uh, you know, showing the process of how we book uh, clients. And a lot of people were, uh, they understood why I was... Uh, you know, picking and choosing the clients that I would want to tattoo. And I did get two comments, and I feel like it would be nice to read them out loud and kind of give my point of view. You're intrigued, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People are willing to pay top money for your work just to throw it to the side, shaking my head. So I feel like uh, it's, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I'm very grateful and blessed the fact that a lot of people want to get tattooed by me, and I think that's amazing, you know. But at the same time, I, I'm not doing it for the money. I'm doing it because I love tattooing so much that I want to make sure that I have fun too. Uh, the reason why I started tattooing it is because I was tired of working a five, uh, a nine to five. You know, I wanted to escape me feeling like I, I needed to do it because it was my work. Uh, now I have m the ability and the and the opportunity for me to do what I love. So I'm taking advantage of it and making sure that i i, I love it you know so oh, i did see that comment and oh, i did? think i also want to highlight the person who responded to him and was oh, you okay. know more like you know you've earned it you've earned the right to be um pick and choose what you want to do and i feel like that is a huge blessing that i remember a long time ago you this was like when you were doing, you were still doing the $40 specials. You were like, one day I want to be able to choose what I want to do. And, mm -hmm. you know, you're here now. I am very proud of you for how far you've come. And it's really awesome seeing that you get to pick and choose what you want to do and create something different. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's my two cents. Oh, thank you. Uh, like you said, the person who replied to that um, to that comment said nothing's wrong with being picky and doing something that gets the creative mind going. He's earned it, and it's not always about the money, which is totally true. You know, like I, like 
I I want to I, I love what I do and I I want to enjoy every minute of it. Wow, cool. that was a crazy intro to this uh, answering emails. All right. <laughs> all right. So out of all the emails, nobody replied. We got one <laughs> reply. So his mom passed away, mm-hmm. um, and he he just would really wanted to get a memorial piece done for her. And he did send another picture, but it wasn't clear enough. So we asked if he had any more pictures. He sent more pictures. These are the only pictures of my mother. Uh, he sent, I think, like two more. Mm-hmm. And it says, hello. Unfortunately, these are the only pictures I have of my mother. When she passed away, everything was lost. I also have this idea of making my mother an Aztec goddess. If it's better for Reyes, I will be attaching an inspirational picture as well. I'm currently enrolling to the USA Army. And might be deploying within a month or two. I'd really like to get this piece done before I deploy. If you should need anything else, please let me know. Yeah. So the biggest thing about portraits is that uh, for me is the reference is the most important thing. Because it's such a meaningful tattoo that in any way do I want to get in a situation where I I have doubts that I'm not going to be able to execute that portrait the way it should be executed so this is another picture oh not bad i think it's a really good reference really i can clean it up i'm gonna say yes to this selected did you want to open a couple yeah let's let's um let's choose one or two okay depending on how how many emails we go through all right so this next one is a cover-up um hello mr reyes i saw your video on youtube i appreciate you opening up my email and sharing it on your channel oh i understand you said the concept that i gave wouldn't quite work as a cover-up so i wanted to reach out again okay in hopes that we can find something that you feel we can work with i have some ideas i'm not set on one specific piece but i would like to stick with the religious theme i'm open to extending the tattoo and turning into a full sleeve that way we have more room to work with as well my main goal is getting it covered by you it's taken me a while to find someone that i feel i could trust with this cover-up and i'm determined to get it done by you what are the odds that we open up the same person's email that is right (laughs) oh i'm shook right now so this is a picture that he sent as an inspiration i mentioned it in the video that it's soft I can't use any faces to cover up such a harsh piece. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I would want to reply to him and just kind of explain. All right. So the next one, I'm just going to do a random. Stop. (laughs) All right. This is a cover up. I really have gone back and forth with my idea. I'm flexible. I love some heavy flowers and maybe an illusion skull. But I love all dark and creepy mixed with beauty ideas. Ooh. I dashed an image, but darker would be ideal. So this is what she has. Oh. Okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> I was so positive you were going to immediately say no. I see. When I think creepy with beauty and skulls, I think skull, spider web. I also see a moth. What is it? A, a black moth? A moth would be really good. That would be pretty texture. sick. I'll take it. Wow. <laughs> I'll take this it. This is crazy. <laughs> I was for sure that he was going to say no. He said one. So <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that concludes today's uh, <laughs> podcast. We chose one client, and uh, hopefully, we book. Uh, this client and the other client that wants a portrait. <laughs> we got a giveaway, no? Oh, yes. <laughs> so I'm going to start doing uh, uh, small little giveaways. Uh, so stay tuned on my Instagram. I'm going to be posting what I'm going give to be giving away for the next next podcast. And for this and this podcast, I decided to give away a 14-round liner by Ambition, which this is the cartridges I use on a daily basis. It's my favorite cartridge, and if you... Uh, watch my videos you guys know that my 14 round liner is my favorite cartridge that's what I use for everything wow. <sighs> so glad I didn't into this giveaway <laughs> well for the next one it might be a, a shirt could be a hat could be <laughs> Ooh, I like shirts <laughs> So I posted on my Instagram that I was giving away this 14 round liner and uh, I chose an artist um, that liked the, the story and um, 
His name is I Do Cover Ups, and I'm gonna be sending him this box of 14 mile liners. And yeah, so I'm gonna be getting in contact with him, and uh, so he can send me his address, and I'll send it over to the shop. So cool! Congratulations, I Do Cover Ups. I hope you use them. Yes, congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, thank Forgot. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Peace. <laughs> 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 but we forget. <laughs>